This is Uma for Box Nation. I'm joined by my good friend Don Charles. It's been a while, Don. Uh, I think the last while, last time I interviewed you was in Poland, actually. Oh my God! Yes, it was. Yes, it was uh, for the Usyk fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Good to have you back on Box Nation as well. Uh, a brand uh, that you know so so well, Don. Um, had so many fights on there, training fighters. Um, yeah, it's good to see it back. Yeah, most definitely. You know, and with someone like yourself, the youth, the new blood the new blood on the scene. Remember, this is actually a good luck thing. Um, if you remember, I was the first interview you did when you were commissioned for your previous uh, network. And, um, and look what you went and done. And God willing, God willing, you go ahead uh, with Box Nation was already an established platform. But obviously, like I said, new blood like yourself to, to bring it out to the street again. Fantastic. Appreciate that, Don. Don, I'm just actually talking about Poland. I want to get a clip up and I want you to watch this. I'm going to just hold it to the mic. The he got hit in the body with Daniel Dubois and he got knocked spark out with a body shot. He was rattling. He was on the floor like this, shaking. Like a little bitch. <laughs> was it a low blow? Hell no. It was right on the belt. And he had his shorts around his fucking tits. It was, his shorts was up. And when he got hit, the shorts was up. And after he got up, he pulled them right down. He's complaining all the time. Right, well, like I said earlier on, I don't watch things on Instagram. Occasionally, if I have to study a fight on YouTube, of course I do. But in terms of who said what and when, you've just showed me that clip by uh, Tyson Fury and he's commenting on the Usyk situation. I've given up commenting on it uh, because it's almost like I'm a sour loser. No, I'm not. Yeah? What I saw, I was meters away. I was two meters away from the incident when Daniel Dubois delivered was a perfectly good timed counter. We've been practicing, drilling that shot, drilling. There was a few shots we were drilling. That was one of them. And it came home in a spectacular fashion. And I think everybody was in shock. Not only was Usyk in shock who, who received the shot, the referee, in my opinion, was in shock because nobody, he didn't expect that to happen. Hence why he never counted it. Because it's almost like he's a human being, the referee. So his reaction is like, that just didn't happen. Well, it did, my friend. Count it. He chose not to count it because Usyk was saying it was a low blow. He conned the referee and conned the world. Yeah? And which is really disappointing because that was our moment, Daniel's moment, to make history right here. But you know what? I'm not a hypocrite. I always say that I'm a God-fearing man. That's still the case. God, as much as I hate to accept it, but... It wasn't meant to be that night for us, for Daniel Dubois. His time will come, yeah? But Fury, again, it's just a confirmation of what we believed. Just on that, before we come on to your charges, Daniel Dubois and Tony Yoka, I uh, just want to talk about, you know, what Tyson was saying there. Frank Warren's come on Box Nation and, and reiterated the same thing, that Tyson is, is pushing for a, a fair fight here. Uh, against Usyk on May 18th and, and Frank's even said at the rules meeting mm -hmm. they are going to bring up the fact that Usyk has got previous to, to go into the referees about Correct. shots to the body. He did, it against Anthony, he did it against Anthony Joshua. Anthony had him hurt to the body, a perfectly good shot. He turned away. Again, the referee was in shock, didn't know what to do. The same referee may I add, Louis Babon, right? He turned away and the referee bought it and gave him time to recover. That was against Anthony Joshua. OK, so something is going on. They need to sort that out. Do you fancy Fury to beat Usyk? I've always fancied Fury to beat Usyk. Not because I'm, this is prior to Daniel fighting, uh, uh, long before Daniel fought Usyk, long before I became Daniel Dubois trainer. I've always eluded the fact that Fury, the Fury that I, we know, if he trains, which I believe he is training for it, he would, I would go as far as I say, he would play with Usyk. OK, in terms of Daniel Dubois, you're not his promoter, you're not his manager, you're his trainer. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a report surfacing about potentially uh, the Philip Pergovic fight happening on June 1st. I know you can't comment on that specifically, but if that does come to fruition, Don, Daniel did call out Philip Pergovic uh, a few weeks ago. A few months, a few months. Thoughts on that fight, how does it play out? Well, come on, that's, Daniel's my guy. I know what we're doing in the gym. I mean, stylistically, Daniel oh, and Philip. yeah, he's all wrong for a lot of people, certainly all wrong for Pergovic. If he is the opponent, I, again, like I said, I can't confirm that because you know more than I do. Last comments from Ron, Ronnie Shields, okay. uh, Phillips, uh, trainer, but I will add that he said there's talks on going. Hasn't said anything's okay. finalised or confirmed, okay, yeah. so there's talks. Daniel's obviously been linked with uh, quite a few yeah. fighters after that Miller win, and with what's going on with his excellency and Riyadh season, you can match 
these fighters with practically anyone in the world. You look at Daniel, there's the Joe Joyce rematch, yeah. Joe Parker, there's, there's plenty of fights out there, Correct. Wilder even. Um, so it's exciting times for such a young man, Daniel Dubois. He's only 26 and heavyweights don't mature to, I know it's a cliche, heavyweights don't mature, mature till they're about 29, 30. So considering he's only 26, what he's already achieved is remarkable. Will he become world champion one day, Don? I'm not going to stand here and say, no, that's what we're in it for. I'm in it for that. He's in it for it. So most definitely, yeah, 100%. Watching it on TV, the fight with Gerald Miller, um, I saw something different in Daniel. Um, would you agree with that, Don? Well, there was lots of things different. He's maturing. He's called maturity. And he's had um, different coaches, as you know. Um, I believe I'm the third the coach he's worked with, or the fourth coach in his career and he's picked up everything from every coach that he's been with yeah starting with Martin Bowers he, he, he learned from that Mark Tibbs he learned from that Shane McGuigan is a great coach he learned from that so again like I said it's the first time in my uh, coaching career that I've, I've inherited I use the word inherited uh, an established athlete such as Daniel Dubois and I'm going to run my leg if this was athletics in, in a 4x4 relay I've now been handed the baton to run the last leg and cross the line, like I said, and win gold, and that's my intentions. And in terms of uh, your other heavyweight charge, uh, Tony Yoka, uh, what's going on with Tony? Is he going to be in a, a big fight soon, you hope? Well, little fights first, then uh, his career has had a bit of a dip, and we're in the process of trying to rectify uh, the mistakes he has been making in the last uh, three fights and get his career back on track. We're talking about an Olympic super heavyweight gold medal. In the history of the sport, of the Olympics, there's only been two other people in his position who won super heavyweight gold and not converted it to a world title. And when he came to first meet me for a meeting to see whether we're going to work together, I said to him, do you want to be the third person ever to have won the super heavyweight gold and not win a world title heavyweight? He said, no, I don't. I said, well, let's do something about it. And that's what we're in the process of doing to make sure that is not the case. Well, the one that springs to me is, is Joe Joyce. They've got previous in the amateurs, of course. Um, so it would be a, a rematch, although not in the professional ranks. But there's history there and... Uh, I think with Joe, who had his two losses to Zhang, it's a fight that potentially could make sense, Joyce and Yoka. Well, down the road, yeah, most definitely, provided we're in a rebuilding process, myself and the team, and Tony Yoka, we're in a rebuilding process. Um, first things first, let's get him a couple of wins then before, then ask me this question in about three, four months' time, then I'll be in more position to give you a more definitive answer. Just last as well, on Joyce, again, as I said earlier in this interview, Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce, just because of the history, that is a fight that fans would love to see and it would sell. Um, on that, Joe Joyce made his return to the ring this weekend. Did you catch it? And if you did, what did you make of it? Yeah, I saw the fight. Um, it, get a win, and he got a win. He got it in the last uh, minute of the last round, yeah? Even if he won it on points, I'll still be saying this, that he got the win. Yeah, for a human being, for a fighter, what that does to your mind, okay, he's a winner again, okay? So he gets back on his horse and ride. And, you know, from there on, whoever he's matched with next, Joe is Joe. He's only ever been beaten by one man as a professional. The same man beat him twice, you know, so there's no shame in that. Yeah, maybe Zhang is all wrong. He's, he said it himself. He said, I, I don't want a third fight with this guy because he realised and his, his team, that's all wrong. It's Spiles, man. It's all wrong for him. OK, um, the, look at Parker, who Joe Joyce beat. Look where, you know, what him and Andy Lee have done with, with Parker's career. Look where he is now. Who's to say that won't happen for Joe Joyce? And I hope it does, because he's a, he's a beautiful human being, Joe Joyce. Listen, Don, appreciate your time on Box Nation. When Daniel has some news, I'll certainly get down to the gym and, and grab you both. Uh, but, yeah, for now, uh, thank you very much and see you soon. It's always a pleasure, Omar. God bless you, Don. Thank you.